Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a weekly program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. There was a war between Christians and Muslims, and people killed in the name of their religion. All the Lebanese people are asking why. Why Lebanon is always to be sacrificed? Maybe the black market of the wars in the whole world could answer about it. With my parents, we never regarded this as an internal conflict, but rather as a means for outside forces to destroy Lebanon. Because we had a great social agreement in this country before the war, which, however difficult that might be to imagine, was destroyed. Lebanon is a small country. From south you have Palestine or Israel, from the other side you have Syria, and then on the north-north, after Syria, you have Turkey. When you have a democratic life in Lebanon, all other country, either you have a theocratical regime or a dictatorial regime. So Lebanon is in the middle. And all of them are looking on this Lebanon. Why this small country must have all these varieties, have all this richness? It's disturbing. It's disturbing, yes. Lebanon is a country where 18 confessions are living. They are all recognized by the Constitution. They are living many years ago together. For example, in uh, my diocese, we have uh, Muslims. We have good relationship with them, no problem at all. And also, you can find many villages that are Christian and Muslims together. And you have mixed marriages. And of course, you have also other confessions also living together. But rarely you can find a region where, for example, a Sunnite living with a Shiite or a Druze and I think it will be a good example for the whole region. I used to be in a Christian school, but now I attend our Muslim Christian one. I think diversity is important, to live amongst different people, because it influences an individual's personal development, because the value of a human being is not based only on personal faith and tradition. What is the gift of Christians that gives this stability to Lebanon and to the region, as you've just been saying? The Christian himself, because he's an open-minded person, he dialogue, he likes life. That's why the Lebanese people are full of life, full of energy. You destroy their house today, tomorrow, and even after destroying the house, you will find him working again and making a construction. And perhaps most importantly, if I might, suggest it's because he can forgive. Of course. For me, myself, I believe in the prophetic words of Pope John Paul II. Lebanon is more than a country. He is a message for the East and for the West. 